I will show you how to set up the real-time cursor component using the Superbase UI library. This is what the final result will look like. When you have two tabs open at the same time and you drag your cursor on one of the pages, you will be able to see it in the other tab. Here you can see my cursor is on the right page which represents one tab, but you will be able to see the position of my cursor in the first page as well. To get started, I will switch over to my code editor. I will assume you already have a React app with Shad CN UI installed. If you don't, I have a video on my channel that shows you the exact step-by-step -step process of how to do that. Once you have your React app set up with Shad CN UI installed, the first step we need to do is to go back to the documentation here, copy the command here to install the real-time cursor component from the Superbase UI library. Go back to your code editor and paste in this command to run it. If you're using React 19, select either of the options. I will do the first one. Open the app.jsx file. Go back to the docs, scroll down until you see this example code they have here. Copy the code inside the div tags. Now we can replace all of the code here. Next, we need to import this component. So we can easily do that by just writing the import statement just like this. The last step is to create a .env file and populate two different variables. In the root directory, just create a .env file just like this. Inside this file, create two keys just like this. One is called vite superbase URL and the other one is called vite superbase anon key. We can get these values inside our superbase project. If you haven't created a superbase project on superbase.com, we can easily do that by going to superbase.com, create an account. This is what the homepage should look like. Click new project, choose your organization, enter a project name, database password, select your region, and then click create new project. This is the page you should see once your project is done building. On the left hand side, click project settings, then data API, copy the project URL here, and then paste it in for the Vite Superbase URL. For the Anon key, copy the value here and paste it in. Save the file. And now we can run the React app by just typing in npm run dev. Open the app. I will have two tabs open. So in the right hand side, I will just drag my cursor and you can see it appear on the left tab as well. If I go to the first tab on the left, you will see the opposite where now it will show on the right tab. And that is the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.